Hi everyone, Twitter Gadget here introducing a new feature uh, we think many of you are going to be pretty excited about. Uh, and that feature is the ability to add or remove select tabs from your Twitter Gadget installation based on your most commonly accessed items, uh, available screen real estate, whether you're uh, in Gmail sidebar mode or iGoogle mode, and, and therefore how much width you have available to you for a select number of tabs and so on and so forth. Um, our initial inclination was to replace the Everyone tab uh, with uh, a Twitter List tab. And that inclination was based on some feedback we received via our T-Gadget account on Twitter when we put out an informal poll saying, hey, would you be opposed to removing the Everyone tab uh, with a Twitter List tab? And, the, and again, the overwhelming majority of people replied said, absolutely, we don't use that very much. Um, so we wouldn't be sad to see it go. But what we realized the more we took a look at it is uh, we could probably do one better, and that is... Um, instead of removing and replacing tabs, uh, we could go ahead and remove uh, optional tabs by default and allow you, the user, to select uh, which tabs you want to make available in addition to the default tabs that are present. Those default tabs that are present now are Home, Replies, Directs, and Favorites. We feel that those four tabs are core to your Twitter experience, they're core to your Twitter gadget functionality, they're hard, fast, and fixed, those can't be removed. Everything else is optional that we make available, as you'll see through this demo, that you can add or remove uh, uh, to your desire. Um, so let's get into it. If we go ahead now and click the add or remove tabs uh, uh, option that is now present, uh, what you'll see is, and many of you are going to be very familiar with this page likely, this is our advanced options page um, that we've already had in place. But what's been added, you'll see a new little arrow pointing out when you enter this page via that add or remove tabs link uh, now on your in Twitter gadget installation, you'll see us with an arrow pointing to the specific location on that page where you uh, select which tabs you'd like to add or remove. Um, you're going to see why I mentioned that. So again, you're going to see why I mentioned that and why it's important in a second. But again, if I come back to Twitter Gadget, and instead of clicking your Add or Removes tab, you go via your Adjust Settings and click Advanced Options. That page that pulls up is essentially that same page with the exception that we're no longer inserting an arrow to point explicitly to the Extra Tab section. And again, as I mentioned, you're going to see why that's important in a second. So let's go back by way of the Add or Remove Tabs option. And what you'll see that we put in now is the ability to add the Everyone's tab or remove it. By default, it's, it's removed. Save searches, Twitter lists, and the ability actually which to, to remove the actual add or remove button itself uh, as well from your installation. So let's go ahead and say that we go ahead and add everything back that's possible. Uh, go ahead and click those check boxes accordingly. Hit the Save button. And when Twitter Gadget refreshes, what you're now going to see is a whole collection of tabs available to you uh, at the top of your timeline. You'll see the Everyone tab is now returned. Uh, a tab for Save Searches, a tab for Twitter Lists, and we still have present the Add or Remove button. We go ahead and click that again uh, and pull up the Add or Remove. And let's say, you know what, we decided that the Everyone tab probably isn't necessary. I'm not going to access it very often to the, to the point where I don't need it available to me directly a, as a tab at the top of my timeline. I want my save searches. I want my Twitter list. And since I've got everything in place that I, the way I like it, I no longer need to have that Add Remove tab uh, option present either because it's taking up additional space um, where space may be at a premium depending on my iGoogle width, Gmail sidebar, so on and so forth. It's nagging. It's a nuisance. I no longer need it. I've got things the way I want it. So now what you'll see is that setting where the everyone has been removed. We have our saved searches, our Twitter lists, and the add remove button has been, has been removed. Um, however, now you, you recall previously I mentioned that essentially that add remove button goes to our advanced options page. The reason that's important is say you've changed your mind down the line and you do want that add remove tab back or you do want that everyone tab back, you, st you can still gain access to those settings via your advanced options so that when you pull it up they're still there. You can come to your advanced options page and go ahead and click the Add Remove tab, for example, to add it back, or the Everyone tab, whatever it might be. We're not going to save that for now. We, we, we're going to say that's not necessary for our purpose. So now let's get into the two key components that we've added in the form of tabs, and that is Save Searches and Twitter Lists. The very first time you select either one of these buttons, um, we're going to pull up your list of Save Searches or your list of Twitter Lists that you've defined and saved to your account.
We pull those lists up by default because right now we don't have any sort of timeline data to default to because you've yet to select those. But the first time you come in and select a particular save search, for example, or the first time you come in and select a particular Twitter list, let's go ahead and say TechCrunch Android, um, now we've elected it, selected uh, a default Twitter list and a default save search. So that what that means is if we come and start navigating other tabs um, and go from home timeline to replies directs, when we come back to our save searches, what's going to happen now, rather than providing an option to select from a list of save searches, uh, we are actually going to automatically default that tab in the resultant timeline to your most recently clicked save search or to your most recently clicked uh, um, Twitter list. And so the, what happens then is, or what that means is, is you can essentially define your favorite save search that you most commonly access or your most favorite Twitter list that you most commonly access. So they're more readily accessible by directly clicking either one of those tabs. Now you say, hey Twitter Gadget, how do I get to my other Twitter lists or, or save searches that I've also defined? The same way you did in the past and that is via the drop down arrow at the bottom right of the tweet input box, you can go back to your save searches list still and go ahead and click click a different save search. Now we search for Chicago. Um, we can also go back to our Twitter lists and we previously had TechCrunch Android. Let's go ahead and switch that over to the Twitter team. And so now those have become our two most recently searched for or viewed Twitter lists. So if we go again, go ahead and navigate away uh, let's get rid of that save search even in there so we don't confuse. We go ahead and navigate away. We're at our home timeline. Now when we come back to our save searches, you're going to see it's going to pull up the new most previously clicked save search, which happens to be Chicago in this case, or the new most recently accessed Twitter list, which in this case is going to be the Twitter team. So in a nutshell, the very first time you add either of those tabs, we're going to just default you to make you select a particular save search or Twitter list so that the next time you select either one of those tabs, we're going to auto default you to that most recently selected option. And again, just so you know, um, just don't forget that if you wish to change that particular option that's defined as your most recent search or Twitter list, come in via that drop down arrow, pull up your menu, um, and go ahead and click it, and that'll become your new default. That's it for now. Uh, we are really excited about this feature. I think it's going to create for an enhanced usability and, um, and, and feature and function, usability and features and functionality um, of your gadget installation. We've really enjoyed testing it and using it while we've uh, been developing it. So we're cer certainly curious to uh, see what you guys think as well. Feel free to give us feedback. If you have any comments or questions, uh, at reply us to at tgadget. Let us know what you think, and uh, we can keep enhancing and refining this um, and uh, making it uh, as usable as possible for everyone. That's it for now. Thanks for using Twitter Gadget, and we'll see you guys next time.